Now, the question is saying, figure 6.1 shows a lens used to form an image draw, drawn to scale. Okay. Identify the type of lens in figure 6.1. So look at the object and then here the image, these rays of light, they cross here, they meet, they converge. So the type of lens here is a co converging lens. Converging what? Uh, lens. Okay. The next question is, you mentioned two characteristics of the image uh, or may image formed. Number one, so the object is smaller than the image, so you can say it is magnified. It is magni magnified. Secondly, it is and again the image uh, the image is real okay is real now the last question is saying what device what device uses this type of lens um Oh, by the way, this is also called the convex lens. Okay. Convex what? Lens. What device uses this type of what? Of a lens to produce a similar type of image. Okay. So, here, the lot of devices that use, that use uh, this type of lens, convex lens. Okay. So, you can use the projector. Which project the image on the projector screen on the projector screen so that's all to question six question seven is this is under electricity or uh, yes electrical circuit so the question reads the question b7 not question 17 figures figure b7.1 shows resistors connected to a four volts power supply Okay, so this is the, um, the, 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 the series circuit. Now, what type of series circuit is this? Is it a parallel or series or maybe joint? This is a joint circuit. Okay, so what is the effective resistance of the circuit? So, check this one. So, they are, they're asking us to find the effective resistance. So, the effective resistance is the same as... Uh, total resistance so to find the total resistance we are going to use so total resistance is going to say first we we'll need to make since this is a combination of series and parallel circuit you have to make the parallel circuit into series circuit okay so we're going to say three um resistor one let's call this one resistor one resistor 2 and, the, and then this one resistor 3 so we're going to say resistor 1 plus now in parallel circuit if you have two resistors what you do is so we're going to say resistor 2 multiplied by resistor 3 divided by resistor 2 plus resistor 3 okay now when you substitute here we're going to have Resistor 1 as 3 ohms plus a resistor 2, 6 times resistor 3, 6 times 12 over 6 plus what? Plus 12. Okay? So, when you multiply here, you're going to have 3 plus 6 times 12. Okay? 6 times 12 is 72, all right, 72, 72 divided by 18, 72 divided by 18, it is 4, so 18 here, it is 4, so in other words, here you have 3 plus what, plus 4, which is giving us 3 plus 4, it is 7 ohms, okay, 7 ohms. And 7 ohms is the answer. So,
calculate we're asked to calculate the potential difference the pd across the three ohms resistor so what you need to know here is that potential difference potential difference which is the voltage is equals to current times the resistor so this is the resistor that we labeled as resistor one so we're going to say this resistor one here now do you know the current no we don't know so the first thing we have to find the current now you should know that since we've made this circuit as a series circuit we found uh, a series circuit we have three ohms and um uh what, what what was the answer here four okay when you add these when you calculate uh, the parallel circuit we're going to have four ohms four ohms plus three you have total resistance as what seven ohms now we are going to say current is equals to voltage over resistance which is the total resistance okay the voltage given here as you can see here it is four four volts the resistor total resistance is what seven ohms all right so when you divide four into so let me say it's what four divided by seven is giving me zero point five seven to do two decimal places zero point five seven amps okay therefore to find the potential difference here we're going to say current which is zero point five seven amps multiplied by resistor three okay multiply by three so 0.75 is it five and five or five seven zero point five seven zero point five seven multiplied by four is four three multiply by three okay the answer is giving me is one point seven one okay since it's potential difference so it will be in volts so 1.71 uh, volts so question 8 the question reads figure figure b 8.1 shows a cathode ray or oscilloscope crro this is a diagram name the process by which cathode rays are produced so cathode ray uh, cathode rays are produced by uh, semi semionic emission all right semionic what semionic emission then then the next question is state the function of y plates okay state the function of the y plates in the sierra or, or cathode ray oscilloscope the y lay look at the y the, the y rays okay oh the y plates sorry so the function is to deflect the rays up and what up and down this is sideways but the y plate it is up and what up and down okay so is to deflect the cathode rays up and down okay so let's go to the next question why is the potential difference between the cathode ray and the anode very high mm -hmm. so this is very simple so to increase to increase or you can say to to accelerate to accelerate the um, the electrons okay electrons which are the cathode cathode rays all right this is question eight 
uh, so on question eight then question nine b b nine question nine is saying define nuclear fission not nuclear fusion but nuclear what fission so nuclear fission nuclear fission is is the splitting of radioactive nuclei okay nuclei as this is done here a lot of energy is produced heat energy is what produced the next question which is b2 is what is background radiation what is background radiation radiation so this is so this is this is the this is the amount amount you can say this is the amount of radiation okay which is available which is available on earth okay every time or at all time all right now the second the question c is saying state two uses of nuclear energy this is simple okay so uses of nuclear uh, energy you can say it is used to make nuclear weapons weapons another one you can say it is used it is used for power generation okay for power generation last question here is saying complete the following nuclei equation where you have sodium and sodium here you have magnesium you have a beta particle and um, the gamma or y ray or so this one we have sodium which is has 24 mass number as 24 okay then magnesium magnesium here magnesium has also 24 then down here it is 12 then you have the beta and the alpha um i mean the y ray or the gamma the gamma ray okay now let's check what is next oh we are done with the section b okay we're done with section b so what i'm going to do is i'll create a separate video for section c section c there are three questions there are three questions and you are supposed to answer two questions but in the video i will show you all the three how to answer all the three questions so the first one here this is the second one under waves this is under travelographs or kinematics and this one is under uh, radioactive okay so thank you so much remember to subscribe and like the video